Oh, dude, already is looking amazing. Oh, I love the silhouette. Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Myth. Last episode, we made our way to Moplart Town. On the way here, some interesting stuff happened. We saw Zeru of Team Astra use his like, Mimikyu to throat chop Marcus so he couldn't speak so that the um, Pixie and Spectral could do their little, uh, little song, which was great. Uh, we also caught a brand new Pokemon, which is so awesome. We got the uh, Catlet, Catlet from a little side quest. Cannot wait to evolve this and just like see its final evolution because the second evolution, or well, first evolution, whatever you want to call it, uh, it looks amazing. Uh, also met the CEO of Infusion, who was cool. But Marcus said to us, yo, my dad's like asked us for some help and something's going on over here. I did say that it looked like a door behind here and it looks like Marcus has found it as well. Yo, look here. Maybe we can move this crate out the way. I can see some sort of dark entrance through the cracks in the crate. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe go back and destroy. Oh, is Zubat evolved? Sweet. All right, go back. Come out and use wing attack on that crate. Nice job. Ooh. Not sure about this, Foltsy. Well, I have no other choice. My dad's in danger. Let's do this, Foltsy. All right, let's go. Ooh. We well, got some bones in the wall here. Ooh. We'll check the encounters first. Also, I was looking at the evolutions. I might, I think our Eevee's gonna evolve into a ghost type one. Like, yeah, we already have a ghost type on the team, but it does look- Come on, the Zora's in here! Oh, and what, what was that? What's that on the right? Okay, we'll get the Zora and we're gonna get the thingy. So we're gonna have like three fire types on the team, but honestly, I don't care. I honestly do not care. I'm gonna use, there we go. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> it's going on the team 100%. Oh, let's go. All right. Our team might be super unbalanced, but again, like, the game's not super hard. And, honestly, it's all about having fun. And if your team's gonna, you know, be super unbalanced, like if you have six fire types, as long as you're having fun, you like the Pokemon, you can't really ask for anything else, can you? All right, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Also, someone told me uh, Riolu evolves with a, is that a spectral marks they said they, it evolves with something but due to the overwhelming heat of the uh, mythen desert zora tried to seek shelter within the catacombs of the mythen desert eventually changing form -hoo -hoo. uh yes give it a nickname i always call mine although i guess it doesn't really suit it considering it's not a dark type <laughs> but it's fine all right probably should call it natsu instead but uh <laughs> Uh, let's add it to the team, 100%. I don't know who to replace. I don't know who to replace. Oh, I'm sorry, Linky. I do like you, but... Oh, dude. I, I, maybe I'll bring in Linky back. I just want to see like what the Flaffy evolves into, but at the moment we've got obviously the um, the the level cap, so we can't get to 30, so we can't, assuming Zora also evolves into Zora at 30 like it usually does, so we can't see some of these evolutions just yet. But I do want to just find that other Pokemon. We'll, we'll just go on away a little bit and see what it pops up on the way. I'm going to speak to Marcus, but I'm glad I got Zora. <laughs> uh, oh, so many encounters, but I can't pop a repel just yet. Like I said, I want to find that new Pokemon. Because if it's the one I think it is, I kind of maybe want to use it. But yuck, be careful. The path seems to get really narrow from here on out. All these uh, skeletons along the walls. What do you think this place is? Maybe this is the Miffin Catacombs. I don't like this place. Can we hurry, please? I like it. Well, the bones, man. Pretty cool one up. Off you go. Come on, pop up, pop up. Come on, Sableye. Although, I, I do really like Sableye and Detective Pikachu Returns. It was just uh, <laughs> really funny. Any new Pokemon on a different floor? The same? It's the same. Okay. And what we got here? Oh! This is how you get um, uh, Lucario. So an ancient mask from deep within Mythin. It is said that, a, said that a this... It is said that a this item can make a certain Pokemon evolve. Okay. Uh, let's go and do that now. I think we're better time to do it. Let's go, Riolu! Please look cool, please look cool, please look cool. Oh, dude, already is looking amazing. Oh, I love the silhouette. 
Oh, please be cool. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, man. Okay. Muscle and aura sphere. Uh, I feel like yeah, and I guess yeah. It's got a screech. So the annoying thing about Lucario is like I like having like physical attacking Lucarios, but then aura sphere being special, and I, I kind of feel like just aura sphere is just it's perfect move for Lucario. <laughs> Okay, so that's sweet. It's got like a new ability, maybe? I still have Levitate. Because Levitate's actually pretty good. I right, still have Levitate. I'm going to take off this. And put on... The black... I mean, no, because we've got... There's no point it's not a fighting type Pokemon. No fighting moves apart from Aura Seer. Uh, anything else we can put on it? I don't think we have anything, to be honest. Guess we'll just leave it for now. Oh! And we have a Seably! Let me just run. Okay. Before... Oh, okay. Never mind. I say, before I actually get to where I need to go, I want to try and find that Pokemon. Gosh! I wonder what Pokemon this skull belongs to. It's pretty darn big. I'm getting really creeped out here. I know I keep saying this, but I don't want to be here anymore. So, can we please hurry this up? That's fine. It's only a skull. What's he gonna do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, never encounter. Come on, be the new Pokemon. Nope, oh, that's a Marwile. These catacombs actually seem pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Look at that Magnemite! Let me just run. We spawn that one Pokemon, it just won't appear. <laughs> Please, man, I want to see what it looks like. Because I think it's the one that... I think it was... Was it Pixie had it? The one we saw in the... Um, I think it was Last Town that was eating lunch by the second gym with the trainer. It might be a... Had, no, I don't think it's a Hatena, because we've seen a normal one. From the look of it, like, from the little picture, it looks like maybe a Psychic type, I want to I wanna say. Maybe original, like, Gothita? Oh, no, it's Waylon. Oh, yeah, that's... We've seen it before, haven't we? Waylon. I was trying to remember, like, if we had... Like, I feel like we had seen it, but I couldn't remember if it was a regional or, like, a completely fake Emon. But yes. Waylon. So let me, uh... Let's go for a nuzzle. Tangling hair, okay. Right, I'm gonna keep going for a few nuzzles. Oh, okay, go for a few nuzzles. So it doesn't do too much damage. Oh, disabled, okay, cool. Go quick attack. Oh no, it's not gonna, oh no, sweet. <gasps> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just don't kill it. All right, now, Pokeball. No mention before, but I just love the, the music in this game. So this has got to be... Oh, it's sound type. Uh, I think that's got the wrong Pokedex entry. That so says, Catfire enjoys nothing more than uh, taking trinkets from unsuspecting travelers, then playing games with those travelers for them to get them back with its masks. Yeah, I guess that's that's the evolution of what we're going to get soon. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Okay, honestly, look, fan game developers, let me be real with you. You gotta start making so many good Fakemon. Make six good Fakemon and make the rest terrible so that it's easy to make a choice. I don't know what I want to do. I want to put this on the team, but I think... I think I just gotta... Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm tempted to replace Lucario just for a little bit so I can see the evolutions, but maybe wait until... Oh, it's gonna hold off a little bit. I'll wait till some of our Pokemon evolve. This is so annoying, man. <laughs> There's too many... Oh, I, I kind of wish there wasn't a level cap now, because I want to just evolve some of these Pokemon so I can see what they look like, so if I want to keep them on the team or not. Oh, man. But, oh, Foltzy, it's, it's Team Corrupt again. We cannot let you pass. 
Our boss is here and no one can know who's who he is. Oh, for Arceus' sake, are you serious? No time for this. My dad's in trouble. Oh, you must be Marcus. Uh, how do you know my name? <laughs> Clueless little boy. Your dad is not who you think he is. But what's that supposed to mean? So our dad's the leader, I guess, maybe? But Marcus, why are you here? I see Volty's here too. Now tell me, why are you here? I, I thought you were in trouble. Oh, don't worry about me, I'm perfectly fine. You see, Team Corrupt works for me. I'm their leader. So we work the hardest we can, trying to solve the mystery of climate change, yet we've gotten nowhere. But your grunts, last time we encountered them, they were trying to take my Pokemon. Don't worry about them, they've already been taken care of already. What about Monika? She's being spoken to about her actions, and she will not be causing trouble anymore. Oh, she's going to cause trouble 100%. So at this point, I don't know if uh, he's going to be evil. Well, like, he's evil because he's just a bit naive and he's thinking they can do good. And then there's actually going to be like a, like, Monika's going to be, you know, doing like an uprising and causing trouble and taking over. But, or maybe someone else. I don't know. But So why are you down here? Out of all places. Well, you see, no one truly knows what secrets lie in the catacombs. Many Pokemon that have adapted to the environment down here seem to experience a sudden change in temperature. Take Zora as an example. That poor Pokemon had to adapt to extreme heat. So, you think that climate change could have, uh, could have something to do with the catacombs? Who knows? That's why we're here. So I need to return to my research. We have reason to believe that there is more behind these walls. Feel free to tag along. We can discover something new together. Okay then. I'm not sure about this. Something seems off. As much as I want to trust my dad, you know, because he's my dad, I don't know if I can. Although, I'm curious to learn about the catacombs. Let's follow him deeper, deeper in, and see what we can find. Yeah, I, I, man, I, I feel bad for you. It's got to be hard, you know. One hand, you want to trust him because he's your dad, and then, obviously, Team, uh, team Corrupt to just, like, take your uh, your Pokemon. What, your, your Shiny Zubat? What, last episode, episode before? Not too long ago. Seems a bit no good. Oh, forgot, new area. So let's see what we can find around here. Maybe we can uh, get another new Pokemon that we can decide what to do with. Uh, it doesn't look like any of these are different. Beldum's eye looks a little different, but it could just because it's a little, little picture. I don't, I don't know. To wait and see. We got soft sand. Wait, soft sand does ground type moves, right? Yeah. So let's give that to Lucario. Nice. Kind of want to pop a repel, but I just want to just make sure that there's like nothing around here we can, you know, maybe have a regional or something. Uh, yo. Oh. Is that the CEO? Yeah, Lily. Good work, Carbink. We're so close to being able to give you all of her energy. Oh, Voltsy. So what brings you here? You know this lady, Voltsy? Oh, Voltsy, is this one of your friends? Wait, that badge on your shirt. You work for Infusion Inc? Ah, you must be Marcus. I'm Lily, the CEO of Infusion Inc. I heard that my dad hired you. I'm glad you got your infusion vial with no troubles. CEO? I, I, someone's speechless. Anyways, Voltsy, I've been training here for a few days now. A calm and relaxing environment seems to work best for me and my Pokemon. Not a lot of people know, know about this place. So how do you manage to stumble across this part of the forest? Uh, me and Voltsy had to chase after my dad through the catacombs. And we ended up here. I see, a rescue mission. Well, I suppose you could explore while you're here. If you go far enough into the forest, you could probably find an entrance to the Mythen Volcano. I'll warn you though, a strong Pokemon is known to guard that area. Some say maybe Entei, or even Moltres. However, others believe it's the Phoenix Pokemon that used to watch over Mythen. Phenelf? Phenelfa? Phenelfa. Yeah, <laughs> these could just be silly little rumors too, but who knows? It's better to be uh, cautious rather than regret it later. So this grotto has fences and stairs everywhere, but you mentioned it's hidden away in the forest. Was this place once inhabited by residents of Mythen? Some say that many years ago, um, before Mythen was discovered, the grotto used to have villages inside of them. However, there isn't much evidence to back this case. I see. You could always uh, look around and see what you can find. After all, not a lot of people come here, uh, being that it's so hidden. Anyways, I need to get back to training. You guys should definitely explore the grotto and try to find your way into the volcano. Yeah, maybe I can figure out what Pokemon guards that place. Feel free to tag along, Voxy. 
I know you, you and I are both uh, itching for adventure. Be safe, you two. Try not to get hurt. I can try, but no guarantees. I think I'm in love. <laughs> you better keep up, Voltsy, or else I'm going to find that strong Pokemon first. In love with adventure or with Lily? Alright, uh, so let's grab this. It's got a big mushroom! Sweet. I just want to get the next gym badge, honestly, right now, so I can up the level cap. <laughs> just... Oh, I'm, I'm assuming Flaffy and Zora are both going to evolve at level 30 like they usually do. Like, Zorak stay on the team 100%, not getting rid of it. But with how the Marie from Flaffy looks, if Ampharos looks any cooler than them, I just I don't think I can get rid of it. It's just like a bunch of Pokemon that I want to keep using. This is such a hard decision. Keep running away. And yeah, we go around this way. I'm gonna pop a repel because I I don't think there's anything around here we really need. I should make exploring a little bit easier. There's no item down there. Gotta make sure I just check every like random rock and stuff though. Just after that. Oh wait, is that a Ooh. It's probably best I stay away from it for now. It looks too dark. Oh what? I actually noticed something for once and I can't. <laughs> can't explore it. But yeah, I was gonna say like um, that golem before. Maybe it's more subtle. That was a volcano, dude. Sweet. Oh. So what do we got here? Lava cookie. Any cool fire Pokemon in here? No encounters. Oh, okay. So that's the second area where um, there's been no encounters. Gotta be careful not to fall in, because we don't want to die. <laughs> if we just, uh, yeah, fall in that lava, we will cease to exist. What do we got here? Charcoal, hey! That's good. I'm going to give that to one of our uh, free fire types. I've got the flame plate on um, Flaffy. I've got the wise glass on Caitlyn. Now we've got the charcoal on Zora. Uh, there's nothing up there. There's a few places in this game that like just up here, like for example. Oh, guess it can be a high level then. Oh no, because we stopped the repel, don't we? Because there was no encounters in the volcano. Yeah, some places in this game, like for example this, just, I don't know, there's nothing here, but it looks a little bit sus. There's been a couple of places, but I think maybe later on, maybe we'll find some, is there a gate here? Oh, whoa! This looks sick! Okay. Go explore that a little bit later on. Um, yeah, as I was saying, there's some areas that I just feel like might host some... What is this? It's two things? You know, distracted. Host, like, maybe some legendary or something? Just chill in there at some point, or maybe a trainer, but... Seems to be some sort of text on the board. The board says... L1... Okay, I, I think I might have know what to do already. Hang on. Let me just uh, take a picture. Ah, Honkai, go down. So I was grinding on Honkai. <laughs> right, take a picture of that. Okay. Right, so it's, I think we do this. We go L1. Then we go R2. L3. Ah. Then L2. R3, R1. Hey, something opened. So what are these? Oh. So the way they were positioned, I was thinking potentially, like I could only pick one of these. See, that was kind of the shape when I told you about when I got the fossil. It was kind of like that shape. So I'm guessing, yeah, just didn't work properly, but what do we got over here? Okay. So the board says, oh my god, okay, All right. <laughs> this is gonna be long, let me take another picture. Oh, that's the best thing. See, when I play games, I've got my little notebook ready with my pen, in case I've got to write some stuff down. Always have my phone by my side in case I've got to take a big picture like this. All right, oh my god, okay. Uh, 
Oh, I, I guess, yeah. Blue, white, okay, so. Oh, how's this gonna work? Uh, I'm assuming it will be left to right, right? So this would be B3. I'm gonna assume. Then white one, which has got to be this one. Green two, which is this one. Red four, which is this one. Uh, blue six. One, two, three, four, five, six. White four. This one. Green six, which would be this one. Red one. Blue two. Blue tooth. <laughs> uh, right. White free. I keep losing track of where I am. This is white free. Green four. Red free. Blue one. White two. Red two. Wait, what? Oh no, have I done it wrong? Oh no, I might have hit the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to have to redo this again. Hang on. Let me go in and out. I'll do it right. Oh, okay. So, let's try and do this quick. So this one. White one. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed up. I think I did. When I did red one, I might have done red two. It's green two. Red four. Blue six. White four. This one. Green six. Red one. So this one. Blue two. Blue two again. <laughs> uh, white three. So this one, green four, this one, red three, this one, blue one, white two, red two. That doesn't work. Maybe I did do it right, it just didn't work. Okay, I'll just uh, skip that one for now and we'll see what happens. It's a blue... No, because that doesn't... Okay, let me just um, try this again and then yeah, I'll cut to if I actually get it working because I think I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so after white 2, it's not red 2, it's green 3, then it's red 2, but my sign didn't say green green 3, so yeah, I don't know 
why I didn't say that. But that's uh, that was missing. That's why I couldn't activate red two. So now we can get this done. Let's be red six, blue five, white six, green five. And then red five. There we go, something opened. We got a cave door. Ooh. Oh that oh for a crowbat. Okay. Interesting. So Crowbat has a mega. But uh, we're not gonna be able to use it. But I'm assuming Marcus is probably gonna be using that, so we're probably gonna see it that way. If you have a crowbat and you want to obviously use a mega, then that's how you get the mega stone. Okay, so we got Kindle Ash Peak. So I think I'm going to put it in right here. Next episode, we're going to start making our way through Kindle Ash Peak because that place looks absolutely insane to go and explore. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.